musicals come from when words aren't enough. So we get to go into their heads and make the streets come to life. The shelves shake to the beat. People say, oh, people don't break into song like that in real life. How many times have you been like, oh, that's amazing. We do that. No me diga. We feel like we have to find some fuller, more intense way to express how much we love something. We walk around and everyone has their headphones on. We fantasize that it's our life soundtrack. So that's kind of like how the musical is. Sonny, you're late. Chillax. You know you love me? Me and my cousin running just another dime a dozen mom and pop stop and shop. It's as if you were driving through Washington Heights and you would hear on every block a different style of music being played. I'm from here, I'm from there, I'm all of these things. Yeah, I'm singing to a bachata beat, but I'm singing in English. The music feels like it's in our DNA. It's from South America, the Caribbean, Central America. It's, it's kind roots. of wild the way that it kind of starts coming out of you. My mom is Dominican Cuban, my dad is from Chile NPR, which means I'm Chile Dominican Curican. But I always say I'm from Queens. <laughs> As a songwriter, there's nothing more gratifying than writing songs about a neighborhood you love so much and then actually getting to stage them in the neighborhood you love so much. Lin-Manuel is one of the greatest songwriters I think of all time. It's silly when we get into these crazy hypotheticals. You really want some bread, then go ahead, create a set of goals, and cross them off the list as you pursue them. And with those 96, I know precisely what I'm doing. And with those 96, I know precisely what I'm doing. Roblox, thanks so much for joining us. We hope you're all having fun enjoying this amazing recreation of Washington Heights. In the next few moments, we'll be answering some questions you might have about In the Heights. We'll be picking the most popular questions, so vote for the ones you want answered the most. Let's get started. In the Heights is really about family and community and how you build that for yourself. And this movie really celebrates what that means. It's about people who live out loud, who celebrate their individuality, their community, their love. It's bold. It's time to make some noise. Melissa. I would say, yeah, I would say MB. I think, uh, Anthony. <laughs> All right, that's done. Oh, cherry. Yes. 100%. Yes. But with like extra. Extra cherry. So like the yeah, juice. so there's juice at the bottom, yeah. Two treats in one. So I have very vivid memories of my childhood in Puerto Rico, and we had a tamarind tree in the back Ooh. of the house. Tamarindo. So it has to be tamarindo, because it just brings me back. Yeah. I love rosa flavored with, with um, oh, concentrated, uh, no, sweetened condensed milk on top. Oh, I love it. From rosa. Me también. Tan gruesa. Y a veces me gusta de leche con la leche condensada. Sí. Mm. Muy buena. Tamarindo. And if they have a good crema. crema. Yo, that's it. That's mine. Tamarindo and crema. <laughs> I, like, I like cherry. <laughs> it's worse. Ice cold piragua. I would buy a trip around the world for my whole community. I'll buy 200 acres in New York City. I'd buy houses for all my friends. I don't know. I'll probably get like my parents a car or something. You know? Buy a house. Buy a nice house, I think, maybe. Yeah, just give me a nice, comfortable bed. The mattress got to be fire, king size, you know what I'm saying? King size, memory foam. That's it. I would love to pay off my families, you know, anything that they need, their essentials, and like, you know, make sure everybody's good, my nieces, nephews, and... Hire an accountant. <laughs> yes. An investment accountant. That part. Then hook everybody up. We, we have a sequence in the movie called Carnival. In that sequence, Lynn was on a fire escape. <laughs> yeah. That was a very emotional day because that was, this was his story that's yeah. being told. Yeah. And he was able to look down, down and on see it. it. 
being Manifest. realized. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll never forget, I went to the extras casting. We wanted to cast uh, locals from the neighborhood as extras throughout the film. And Kiara and I are residents of the neighborhood and we walked over together uh, from our block to the extras casting. And I went and sort of did a speech for people from my neighborhood who were showing up and hoping to get a part in the movie. You know, I, I sort of went in and just said, we're gonna mess up your parking for like a month. And I'm sorry for that. Um, but the goal is to come in with love and respect and, and be your neighbors for that month and hopefully make this block and make this neighborhood live forever through the power of film. And someone yelled in the back, we're gonna make you proud. And I can't even tell this story without crying because the, to me that, that was the whole point of it. It was, no, you already make us proud. That's why the songs exist and that's why the movie exists. And so it was that feeling of sort of mutual pride um, that kind of powered us through that incredible summer. I hope people feel seen. I, I think feeling seen is a very powerful emotion and I hope that this movie does that for so many people that maybe couldn't go and enjoy the show on, on Broadway and I hope it makes people want to dance. I think it will. Hope. Mm -hmm. And that they're not alone, that they can see themselves. I hope bo little boys and little girls for the first time can see themselves celebrated on the big screen. In my eyes, my hands, my flag upon this way.